Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another another uh, video of uh, Master None. Well, today I would like to present to you two Seiko watches from the same line, which is the reissue of the Speed Timer. And this one is the gold dial, and this is the uh, pinda dial. Actually, this is a golden pinda, and this is a pinda. Um, well, after the pinda dial was released or, or even was announced, it just went viral on the internet. Why? Because of the pinda dial. Let me just show you guys the dial. Remove that. Look at that. And that's the pinda, and that is the, the gold pinda. Uh, exactly same watch, same diameter, which is 39, I believe. And this is not ceramic bezel. It's all just steel. And the whole watch is made of uh, stainless steel. Um, it's solar powered caliber, of course, if you have, if you have to call, call it quartz. And the MSRP for these ones, um, the US version is 675 plus tax. And the Japanese version is pretty much the same. Um, I believe it's... Um, about 75,000 yen, which is actually uh, maybe slightly over 670, but pretty much the same. All right, so the one I ordered, they're all Japanese. I, I always believe that whenever um, it comes to Seiko, you kind of want to stick with JDM version. It's more precious, it's more collectible. It's just my personal pre preference. Nothing special. Look at the style. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this dial is pretty sick. It's it's really really uh, like the uh, the Pinot dial of the Daytona. I don't have a Pinot Daytona with me. Bummer. I do, however, have the other two Pinot lookalikes. Oh, did I just peel it off? Well, might as well. I do have the other two Pinot lookalikes. Right here. This is the Laurier. This is the Laureate um, Gemini, Pinot dial with two subdials. Um, the color schemes are, are, are very similar right now uh, for those two. I will say they're, yeah, well, this one is manual caliber. This one's manual caliber, so um, it's a mechanic, and this is um, solar powered. And this one costs about the same, you know, um, I believe 600, 650, or it's 500. Oh, someone, uh, someone remind me the price. Anyway. But right now, this one is, um, people are selling this for above 800s on eBay. And this one comes from Seiko itself, another cross watch, now solar powered. This is the SZSJ line. I believe the number is 005. This is a Pinda, but it's more like a beige color. And this is a pure white color. So this one is definitely the Pinda. Mm, very nice watch, actually. Believe it or not, the gold Pinda is actually the limited edition. So this one is um, is a limited edition and the white pinder or the regular pinder is not. Uh, I don't think there are um, any of the gold pinder for sale in the US, um, in the, um, what you call it, on the, on the um, SeikoUS.com website. So this one might be uh, for JDM only. Someone correct me if they know everything, all right. Uh, okay, let me just, uh, Resize those two and put on my wrist. All right, now I have resized both of them and um, they uh, they look pretty nice, especially this pint of one. I have to say, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just a regular guy trying to, you know, be like everyone else, I guess. This one looks much nicer, the, um, the pint of one. The gold one, not that standing out, but just keep in mind, this is the um, the limit edition. The gold color is actually hard to match with your outfits, or it will always match with your outfit. It really depends on your personal pr preference. For me, this kind of gold is a little bit too brown or too light. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but you know, it's a... Um, it's a great watch, but don't expect um, it, it wears like a, a real Rolex Pinot. The weight is different. The um, the material is different, especially the bracelet. Oh, forgot that part. Yeah, let me put on the um, Pinot. 
it's actually a bit lighter. Feels lighter. Yeah, the Piner one's really good. Okay, so as you can see, this is a sub dial. This is the um, the second hand. Uh, this is a chronograph hand, and right here, this sub dial is the. Um, it has the the power indicator. See the the little letter F, and then this is E means empty and full. And this is the twenty four hour hand. This is very handy. I don't think you can adjust that individually. Um, so right now it's five thirty. PM, so it shows seven seventeen. Um, pretty handy. Anyway, this one everyone's listing this for approximately eight hundred plus on eBay, mostly um, from Japan, because the US version, the SSC eight one three, the supply um, was uh, was very limited and it was sold out within hours, maybe only a few hundred pieces or even less. I don't know, but the Japanese version is the uh, SBDL085. Now you will see on eBay for about $800 or plus. This one, on the other hand, is much cheaper. Uh, the Japanese version is SBDL089, as I believe. And you can find this one on eBay for $580 all day long. I bought this for $515 from Japan Select. Uh, I was lucky because they were having this for uh, a discounted price during Black Friday and I just got it right away and this is the last one I believe. And there are a lot of Japanese um, resellers on eBay. They're using, uh, they're selling the same watch. They even use the same pictures. Uh, you can see those kind of listing all day long. Um, they are just individual Japanese sellers based in Japan who do not have the actual watches in stock. Whenever they receive an order, they will just contact the vendor and ship out the watch right away. So, um, you know, try your luck on eBay if you have to get it. To me, I will say it's a mass production, right? And this is a solar watch uh, with very, very normal materials. I, I don't think the supply will be a problem at all. So just wait. Eventually, it will go down to the MSRP and eventually it will be less. $800, no way. Okay, I guess uh, that's it for today. Laters.